We do not argue about the Quran and we bear witness that it is the speech of the Lord of all the world. The truth worthy soul Jibreel came down with it and taught it to the most honored of all the messengers, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa It is the speech of Allah and no speech of any created being is comparable to it. We do not say that it was created and we do not go against the jama'ah of the Muslims regarding it. We have a couple of things here to speak about, but it is very important to speak about a couple of things. We start with, unfortunately, some groups who are relating themselves to Islam that they say, actually, Jibril made a mistake. And instead of going to Ali, he went to Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it was supposed, the message was supposed to go to Ali. Whoever believes in that, he's outside Islam. He's definitely not a Muslim. So we believe that Jibreel السلام, conveyed the message to the Prophet وسلم, This may mean that we do not hold such erroneous ideas as the heretics hold and try to make them prevail over the truth. Or it can mean that we accept the readings of the Quran without dispute and affirm all its recitations which have been confirmed. Hadith reported by Ibn, Ibn Mas'ud he said that he heard a man reciting a verse in a way different from what the Prophet ﷺ had taught him. He caught hold of the man and brought him to the Prophet ﷺ. When he related the story, the Prophet ﷺ frowned upon what Ibn Mas'ud had done and said, Both of you are correct. Do not quarrel over such differences. The people who were before you quarreled over such things and destroyed themselves. What is this? These are things related to Qiraat. We have Qiraat in the Quran, and people were given different Qiraat at the time of the Prophet. ﷺ. Different companions were given different slangs, you can call them, or ways of the Arabic language. So, for example, we read according to Hafsa and Asim, and the majority of the world read according to Hafsa and Asim, and all the Tajweed that we are learning according to Hafsa and Asim. There are the specific countries around the world that read in different ways. For example, we have Nafi' in Yemen area. We have Warsh in some areas of North Africa, like Algeria and Mauritania and Libya, they mostly learn Warsh. So, when we hear them, we will say, what is this? Is this the Qur'an? Yes, we do not dispute. If we hear someone reading the Qur'an in a different way, we should be careful of saying that this is not from the Qur'an and quarrel with people because that might be a different recitation. So, everyone who learned the Qur'an should recite according to what he learned and do not dispute or quarrel with someone else. We have been asked not to dispute with the people of the book except in the best way. Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَلَا تُجَادِلُوا أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا بِالَّتِهِ أَحْسَنُ Do not argue with the people of the book except with the best way. So even the people of the book, Christians or Jews, we do not argue with them except with the best way. We should never argue with those who are righteous except in the best possible way. So if you find a righteous person, a practicing person, and you are... Discussing with him something, you should not argue with him, except in a good manner. And you should not have, even if you disagreed, and that's human beings, even pious people disagree with each other, and righteous people disagree with each other, that should not lead to hatred in the heart. That should not lead to anything, because we do not argue. We try to find the truth, and if we disagreed, if we are different, that should not change the hearts. As for the words which the faithful spirit has brought down, they refer to the angel Jibreel, peace be upon him. Jibreel has been called a spirit because he carries to the prophets amongst mankind the revelation that gives them life. And so Jibreel السلام, was the one that revealed all the messages 
to the messengers during the history of mankind. The words and communicated to the leader of the messengers clearly state that the fact that Jibreel taught the Quran to the Prophet so Jibreel was the one who passed the Quran to the Prophet The words, we do not believe that it was created and we avoid going against the belief of the Muslim community continually reprimand of those who say that the Quran was created and thereby oppose the Muslim community. So we mentioned about the, the argument of whether the words of Allah are created or not created and the argument about that. The elders of the Ummah agree that the Quran is in reality the uncreated speech of Allah. And this is what we believe. 